now consider three variable k map let a b and c are the variables with three variables that is 2 power 3 we can get eight cells so this is a way of representation of three variable k map as we know here it consists of eight cells that is one two three four five six seven and eight so the variable names will be given in this fashion here we can write a and here we can write b and c so with respect to row here we suppose to write a is zero that is a bar and this one is a or we can write it as one so similarly here we suppose to represent each column by two binary numbers now we'll see how to assign the binary numbers to each column here we have two variables with the two variables the four possible binary numbers we will get that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 let me write the decimal equivalent of this the decimal equivalent of 0 0 is 0 decimal equivalent of 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is now as we know in k map while doing the grouping of ones or grouping of zeros there should be one bit of difference from one cell to another cell if we consider with respect to this example if we consider zeroth cell and first cell that is be between these two there is a one bit difference here zero we have and here there is a zero so there is no difference here there is a zero and here we have one so there is a one bit difference it means that from zero cell to one cell we can do the grouping now similarly if we consider zero one and one zero that is between these two cells that is between cell number one and cell number two here we have zero and here it is one so there is a one bit of difference and here here we have one and here we have zero there is again one bit of difference so total here two bit of difference if there is a two bit of difference the grouping cannot be done so for this case the grouping is not possible similarly if we consider 1 0 and 1 1 here we have 1 here we have 1 so there is no any difference here we have 0 and here we have 1 there is a one bit difference again from 2 to number 2 to number 3 that is second cell to third cell grouping is possible but here we found that from 1 to 2 the grouping is not possible now we'll try to represent the same binary numbers in different way 0 0 i will write the first number as it is 0 0 next i will write 0 1 next instead of 1 0 first i will write 1 1 that is 1 1 next i will write 1 0 now here we can see that if we consider these two now the binary the decimal equivalent is this is 0 this is 1 this is 3 and this is 2 so here there is a one bit of difference so grouping is grouping from zero cell and one cell is possible now here we can see between these two that that is between cell number 1 and cell number 3 here we have one bit of difference there is no difference so here from 1 to 3 there is one bit of difference so grouping is possible so similarly between these two cells that is the 3 and 2 again there is a one bit of difference so grouping is possible right similarly when we think of this cell and this cell that is 0 cell and 2 cell so again there is a one bit of difference so the grouping between 0 cell and 2 cell is also possible so this way of representation of number is known as gray code so this is gray code representation of binary representation this is binary representation whereas this is gray code representation so in k map we will use gray code representation now let me give the cell numbers so here it is bc so I, now i will follow the gray code that is first i will use 00 
this is 0, this is 0. Then I will write 0, 1, this is 0, this is 1. Then I will write 1, 1, this is 1, this is 1. And then I will write 1, 0, this is 1 and this is 0. Now we will give the cell numbers using decimal numbers. So here 0, 0, 0 is nothing but 0 in decimal. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 0, 1, 1 is 3. 0, 1, 0 is 2. Here we can see 1, 0, 0 is 4. 1, 0, 1 is 5. 1, 1, 1 is 7. 1, 1, 0 is 6. So these are the cell numbers. So now here cell number 0 and 1 are adjacent to each other. I can write here adjacent cells. So 0 and 1 are adjacent cells. Similarly 1 and 3 are adjacent cells. 3 and 2 are adjacent cells. Similarly 0 and 4 are adjacent cells. 1 and 5 are adjacent cells. Similarly 3, 7 are adjacent and 2, 6 are adjacent. So here we can see 2 and 0 are also adjacent because there is a one bit of difference. Here we can see that 0, 0, 0 that is 0, 0, 0 and here we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So here this 0 is 0. There is no difference. Here also no difference but here it is one bit different. So from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0 that is from cell number 0 and 2 are also adjacent. So we can also do the grouping of 1s or zeros between these two cells. Similarly, there is a one bit difference between cell number 4 and cell number 6. So I can write 0 and 2 as well 4 and 6. These all are adjacent cells. Thus we can do the grouping of 1s or zeros between these all cells in 3 variable kmap. Now we will see different possible way of grouping in 3 variable kmap. Suppose, suppose if all the 8 cells are having 1 like this, then we are supposed to do the grouping of considering all the cells. So value of this will be 1. So always grouping will be started from higher to lower. That is first you have to do the grouping of 8 bits, then 4 bits that is called quad, then 2 bits that is called pair then we have to do independent. Suppose the K map contains the values like this. So here grouping of 8 ones is not possible but here we have 4 ones those are adjacent. We can do one group of all 4 numbers and the value of this will be represented as here in between these two columns the common variable is 1 this here we have 1 and here also we have 1 so here first number is with respect to b second number is with respect to c so here it is 1 here it is 1 so the variable is b common variable is b so as 1 contains in both the columns so we can ignore this only the variable here it is b so here we have two more ones we can do the pair here but if quad is possible then we can ignore pair and we should go for quad so here quad is possible because 0 4 is adjacent to 2 and 6 now we can do like this that is these two one i can do the group like this and this is adjacent to these two one so this should be like this and here the variable will be, will be written like this this column and this column in these two columns that is this column and this column so common variable is c here we have this 0 and this 0 is common so this 0 is with respect to c so that is c bar so value of these two cell is c bar Let this is 0, 1, 0, 1 and here it is 1, 0, 1, 1. <coughs> so now here with these two one we can do one pair. 
so i'll make pair with these two ones the value of this will be so corresponding column values are b and c that is b c bar so here it covers both the rows one where one it is zero and another row it is one so we have to ignore it because there is no any common factor now here we have one so this one and this one together we can make it a pair so this one i can do a pair so it covers two columns so we suppose to consider the common factor here the first term is common that is b and it is correspond to this row here the value of this row is 1 that is nothing but a so value of this one is a b similarly here we have 1 and here we have 1 again we can do this one and this one together as a pair now i'll take this one and this one as a pair and the value of this will be here between this column and this column the common is second factor that is zero zero is with respect to c bar that is c bar and it is belongs to one row that is a that is a c bar similarly here we have one so this cannot be done with pair or quad or a grouping of eight bits so we have to take it as ind independent that is the value of this one is independent and its value will be i can write this is it is correspond to the row a bar it is a bar and belongs to this column that is b bar c b bar c so these are the uh, main terms with respect to this k map so now consider another example where we have 0 1 0 1 and here we have 0 1 0 1 so here with these two one we can do one pair the value will be b c bar and here also we can do one pair because uh, four or two or eight is not possible the value of this will be it is b bar c so now consider one 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 all are zeros so here either group of eight ones or four ones or pair is not possible only is we supposed to go for independent so because no any one is here we don't find any adjacent ones so this is independent the value of this will be <coughs> a bar b bar c bar and here it is one the value of this one will be it is a b bar c and here we have one the value of this will be it belongs to first row that is a bar b c and here we have one its value will be a b c bar let so now consider this example here we can do these two one as a pair or these two one as a pair right so let me take these two as a pair though we can do with this i will do with this one the value of this will become with respect to this column it is bc now here we can find one and here we have one so with these two one we can do a pair so this and this can be done as a pair the value of this will be it belongs to the row a bar and column is b c bar now consider one simple example now let me explain how to simplify a given boolean expression using k map the given boolean expression is say f1 of a b c is equal to it is given like m1 plus m2 plus m5 plus 
m7 so with this expression we can see that a b c are the variables so we supposed to use three variable k map and the mean terms are given that is m1 m2 m5 and m7 so this expression can also be given in another form as f1 of a b c is equal to it can also be represented like this summation m 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma same both are same now with the given expression first we'll write the true table considering a b c as the variables let a b c are the variables and f is the output function that is this f so let me write all possible inputs with respect to three variables we have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and we have 1 1 1 now let me write the output expression or output values here m1 m2 m5 m7 indicates that these are the min term numbers so only for these numbers the output value of f is 1 and for other cases it will be 0. Now let me write the decimal equivalent of these values. So 0, 0, 0 is equivalent to 0, 0, 0, 1 is equivalent to 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So here we have m1, m2, m5, m7. This is m1, m2 that is second, m5 and m7 only for these rows the output is 1 for rest cases it will be 0 so like this we have to write the truth table now with the help of three variable k map we'll do the entry of this output values into the k map so this is three variable k map here i have written a b c and these are the binary numbers of the corresponding cells and these are the mean term numbers so here for 1 2 and 5 7 it should be 1 so mean term 1 this is 1 2 this is 5 and 7 it is 1 for rest cases it will be 0 so we'll simplify this three variable k map now so here we have a 1 1 we can do a pair here this is one pair the value of this will be here with respect to row it is a it is common to these two columns so one is common in this so one is with respect to c now here we have one so this one so here we don't find any adjacent one so that we can make a pair with that so we supposed to take this as independent cell so value of independent cell will be it, it belongs to this row here it is 0 0 means it is a bar and it belongs to the column 1 0 that is its value is b 1 is with respect to b and 0 is with respect to c bar so here we have one more one so this one can combine with this one and we can make a pair here like this so value of this will be uh, so it covers both both rows so we'll ignore this consider only column that is b bar c b bar c so therefore now i can write the simplified expression value is it is ac plus it is b bar c plus a bar b c bar a bar b c bar so this is how we can simplify a given boolean expression using k map in my next video, I will explain four variable k map. Thank you for watching.